Hello everyone, my name is William Jen. I'm one of the emergency medicine residents at University Hospitals Regional Hospitals and today I'm doing a presentation on ultrasounds and deep vein thrombosis or DVTs. DVTs are an a extremely common uh, emergency department complaint with an annual incidence rate of 1 in 1,000 for adult non-pregnant population. Um, they do carry significant morbidity and mortality, which includes pulmonary embolisms, and some studies indicate that up to 50% of DVTs will progress to a pulmonary embolism and that anticoagulation treatment will reduce the complication to about 5%. Ultrasound is commonly used to diagnose a DVT. For a case presentation, we have a 43-year-old Caucasian female with a past medical history of obesity, hypertension, and anxiety who presented to the emergency department with a chief complaint of a very localized erythematous rash on her left lower calf for one day. She was also complaining of uh, pain to her ipsilateral groin, uh, though there was any rash. Physical exam showed a moderate size a warm erythematous rash on the anterior calf without any fluctuant mass, kind of consistent with a cellulitis. Um, in the left groin, there wasn't any palpable mass or rash present, despite some point tenderness there. Um, we use point point of care ultrasound to kind of assess these areas. The ultrasound of the left calf showed um, cobblestoning without any fluid con uh, collection, consistent with uh, our working diagnosis of just a simple cellulitis without any abscess. I then proceeded to ultrasound the uh, left groin where she was having tenderness and found the following images. On the right image, um, this was uh, during compression attempts and it did not appear to be compressible, which brings us to our question, is this a DVT and is the object in the center, a visualized um, DVT there. The answer to that question is no. These images are actually representative of a lymph node with lymph adenopathy. To review the features of a DVT, in the presence of a DVT, you would be unable to completely compress the vein. A DVT does not have to be directly visualized to diagnose a DVT. The ability to compress the vein is enough to diagnose a DVT. However, directly visualizing the DVT is helpful for the diagnosis. A DVT may appear floating within the vein. It does not be completely occluding or attached to the vein walls. In order to diagnose the DVT, there are two primary protocols that are used. The first is a complete duplex scan, which combines compression, the use of color and Doppler flow of the entire leg. This is a time-consuming study to be performed in a busy emergency department. The other protocol is a point-of-care two-point compression scan involving scanning the common femoral vein and the popliteal vein zones, and this could be rapidly performed at the patient's bedside. It should be noted that the two-point compression scan is only indicated for low-risk DVT patients. It's an inappropriate scan to be used for immobilized patients or ICU patients with a higher risk of thrombus formation. As for the key differences to a DVT and a lymph node, uh, 
lymph nodes tend to be more superficial to the skin than deep vessels. Uh, in this case, uh, it was in a more superficial fascial layer. The second point is that lymph nodes should appear as a oval shape. Uh, you need to carefully assess the object in question, both transverse and sagittal planes, to check the shape. Uh, lymph nodes should appear as a spherical object, uh, whereas um, femoral veins and DVTs will appear as a tubular uh, vessel. Let's go over the images from the case presentation again. Um, on the image to the left was the original uh, video that I had shown you. Um, as I'm fanning through, you can see that the object actually ends, indicating that it's not a tubular structure and um, has the fine border suggestive of a lymph node. Um, the image on the right is a sagittal view of the same object, and you can see again that um, it has defined borders and is not a tubular structure. One more time. The third point is that if you concentrate color flow on the lymph nodes, uh, this can actually show blood vessels in the stock. Uh, Non-inclusive DBTs, if you directly visualize it, may have color in the periphery, but would not have color in the center of the uh, DBT. Here's an ultrasound image obtained that illustrates the last point. When you have color flow through the object itself, you can see that there is color within the stock itself likely representing blood vessels within the lymph node stock. Uh, this would not be seen if this was a DVT. Last point is um, that uh, deep vein should always be accompanied by arteries and uh, you should visualize both before attempting to do compression. Um, and that's it for my presentation. Thank you for watching, and please follow us on Twitter and YouTube for more ultrasound videos. Thank you.